Hi, I'm Kim Simpao, Director of Communications for ACEDA, and it is my pleasure to introduce Kevin Bailey. Kevin is the Campus Manager of University Relations for Eaton. Kevin? Thanks, Kim. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for allowing uh, me to have a little bit of time today. I would like to talk to you a little bit about uh, Eaton Corporation and then share a little bit about uh, some of the innovative work we do as it relates to microgrid technology. Eaton Corporation is, uh, was founded in 1911 by Joseph Oriel Eaton. Uh, we're headquartered out of Cleveland, Ohio, with regional headquarters in Shanghai, China, Moore, Switzerland, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Innovation centers in the USA, uh, in the Czech Republic, China, and India. Customers in more than 150 countries, uh, 2011 sales of $16 billion. 55% of those sales came from outside the U.S. Roughly 73,000 employees, and Sandy Cutler is our CEO. In, in summary, $16, $16 billion of sales comprised of uh, our primary business units of our electrical business, our aerospace business, our hydraulics business, and our truck and automotive businesses as well all generally serving power management applications. And now to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the innovative things that uh, we do as it relates to power management, particularly uh, talking about utility and facility power distribution systems. Uh, whether it's microgrids, net zero, and renewable storage systems all share common control needs, protection requirements, and unsolved problems. Modern controls will not have the luxury of controlling uh, the new equipment. Uh, we must be able to integrate the legacy hardware and provide dynamic protection. When we talk about smart grid implementation strategies, uh, whether it be super grid and micro grids, in terms of super grids, it's top down grid modernization uh, to strengthen transmission, automate distribution, overlay intelligence, assumed method of smart grid implementation, uh, and this is driven by utilities. Microgrid uh, technology will be a bottom-up grid innovation uh, to integrate and automate small portions of the grid, reduce grid congestion by optimizing gener uh, generation distribution loads locally, can be owned by either the utility or privately. Specifically as it relates to microgrids, an islandable dynamic power distribution system capable of optimizing multiple power generation assets and loads through advanced controls and communication. Two modes of operation, grid tied and islanded. Advanced control systems ensure system stability and perform economic optimization. Distributed control for graceful degradation. Droop control and other techniques accommodate reduced inertia. Dynamic and reconfigurable distribution enhances reliability and energy security. In terms of the microgrid owner benefits and typical configuration, three primary, uh, primary benefits, reliability uh, and energy surety, continuous electrical supply with or without availability of utility grid due to natural disaster or terrorist attack, efficiency, optimization of local generation options and demands or loads to reduce consumption and energy costs, and sustainability, balancing and optimizing utility grid to reduce need for new central generation and to alleviate transmission congestion. And our typical microgrid uh, configuration is shown. In terms of some of the microgrid requirements, the fundamentals, capability of operating at islanding or on-grid modes stably, mode switching with minimum load disruption and shedding during transitions, and after a transition, after a transition stabilize in a certain amount of time. Today's goals are to decentralize peer-to-peer, -peer, no master control or communication, plug and play concept for each component, transition between modes, protection in the MG that does not depend on high fault current, voltage and frequency stability in islanding mode. Tomorrow's needs will be layered control architecture, device, MG grid, defined functions, standardized, modularized with high flexibility for legacy hardware, device, local control and protection, MG, info, exchange with device and grid, situation awareness, adaptive protection, limited dependence on MG control and communication, optimal power flow and energy utilization. In terms of some of the protection challenges, operating conditions are constantly changing, intermittent DERs, network topology change including islanding, 
Short circuit currents vary both amplitude and direction depending on MG operating conditions. Availability of a sufficient short circuit current level in the islanded operating mode of MG. A generic overcurrent protection with fixed settings is inadequate. It does not guarantee fault sensitivity, sensitivity or selective operation for all possible faults. Present uh, MG protection philosophy. Same protection strategies for both islanded and grid-connected co grid operations. The main MG separation switch is designed to open for all faults. With the separation switch open, faults within the MG need to be cleared with techniques that do not rely on high fault currents. Microsources should have embedded protection functions and plug-and-play functionality. Peer-to-peer -peer architecture without dependence on master device. MG protection R&D needs, communication assisted and adaptive protection, how to turn existing radial time current co coordinated sh schemes into fast, selective, and sensitive transmission systems like protection, incorporate existing protection devices, minimize additional transducers, what is the depth of protection awareness, complete MG state, topology, grid or island mode, type and amount of connected DERs, local and adjacent protection zones, local protection zone only, how to achieve reliable, fast, and cheap communications, bandwidth versus cost versus re reliability, what are the most appropriate backup protection schemes, what central MG level protection functions are needed, if any. From a talent perspective, what it means for Eaton Corporation, um, we need students that will be knowledgeable in regards to electrical power systems microgrids, concrete solutions with legacy equipment, grid-tied systems, hybrid systems, storage management, power electronics, design, control, and optimization of high-performance devices, inverters, transformers, motor drive switches, increasing emphasis on DC. We have a number of opportunities for students in the years ahead uh, at the PhD level, uh, at the bachelor's level, at the master's level, just depending on their areas of interest, everything from direct hire opportunities to uh, rotational program opportunities. Also embedded controls knowledge uh, is going to be uh, important for us, systems and supervisory control for complex systems, simulation and model modeling tool chain, system diagnostics, prognostics, fault detection and safety, leadership, entrepreneurial and innovation skills, and again as mentioned, PhD talent, uh, bachelor's talent, master's talent. As a corporation, we do do a lot with universities in terms of looking at uh, potentially putting in microgrids on campuses. I do know that's one uh, area that we've uh, tried to take uh, an approach, and we've had uh, some interest there and uh, are looking to continue that, that work. If you have information or questions, excuse me, on any of our innovative technologies related to microgrids or anything else, uh, Peter Tyson, uh, Peter J. Tyson, spelled T-H-E-I-S-E-N, at eaton.com is the best person to uh, start your conversations with. As it relates to students and student op uh, employment opportunities, uh, feel free uh, to reach out to me at Kevin E. Bailey at eaton.com. That's it. Thank you.